It's me, Darlene. It's late and my mother is sleeping and it's dark and I like it. I just thought I would spend a few minutes with you and see if we can pop my nail polish off. Not peel it, pop it. Here's what happened. I have been playing with all kinds of things and I most recently polished my nails with this blue from NYC and I love using a peel-off base coat because I play with my nails so much and I'm addicted to putting layer after layer after layer of polish and top coats that I don't want to be bothered with having to soak off nail polish using nail polish remover or even acetone. My most recent one is just pure acetone. It just takes a long time, it's messy, and if you use colors like red, it stains your fingers. So what I've been doing is trying to see if a thicker nail polish on top of a base coat does the trick, and I think it does. If you have a lot of layers on top of the base coat, apparently it will just pop off and you don't have to have any residue on your finger at all. The good thing is just that. Your nails are perfectly clean when the nail polish comes off. The bad news is your nails aren't going to last as long as most people would probably like them to, but for me, I don't want them to last long because I'm in a hurry to hurry up and try a different color or do 10 more coats of nail polish without having to make my nails this thick. So here's the deal. I had polished my nails with glue this time. I'm looking for my white glue, this stuff. I find I like the glue better than this NYC strip-off base. What is it? I gotta put my glasses on so I can see. Let's put my red glasses on. I need my up close and personal glasses. Strip me off or strip it off? I think strip it off sounds more appropriate. There we go. I honestly think I have like a coat of both on my fingers. Then I started putting nail polish, and then I put some of this quick dry top coat. There we go. And then I also put a coat of this high gloss Mod Podge, which is for crafts, but it is non-toxic. So I thought I would give it a go. Now this stuff takes a while to dry, but oh my goodness, it says glass-like finish, and I'm telling you, it made my nail polish thick. You can see what came off my thumbnail. It is like, it's like a fake nail. That's just my nail polish. <laughs> so today I noticed that this fingernail was all of a sudden bare and I thought it was because I had patched this nail. This nail is a little bit broken, like it's too deep for me to cut. It's like on top of the skin. So I patched it with toilet paper and this instant dry stuff. And it works pretty good. I mean, it, at least it's not gonna get caught. I don't want it to get caught on a blanket or something and rip off. So I thought, okay, that's why. But then when I came home from the store today, after I put groceries away, I noticed that this thumbnail was now bare. But if you look, I have a, how do I show it to you? I have a crack, I can't show it to you. I have a crack on this nail now. Oh, I think you can see it right there. So I thought, oh, I must have caught my nail and I ripped my nail and that made the nail polish pop off. A little later, I noticed this finger was completely bare. <laughs> I have no idea where this piece of nail polish is, but I do want to say that I'm surprised that these stay on at all through dishes, bathing, typing, and I've been three days now with these, and all of a sudden, though, they decided they were going to pop off. So this thumbnail is this one, because now I was like, how come these things are all of a sudden just falling off so I just touched this one a little bit and it popped right off and that's this now if I were out if I had some glue I mean I could just glue that right back on my nail I don't know how to show you so 
What I thought I would do is, we're gonna see if I can just take the others all off. Six more fingers need to be depolished. And then I thought I'd show you how I'm gonna fix that crack in my thumbnail, which is still a little bit on the skin, so I don't, even if I were to cut my nail really short, there'd still be a part there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mend it. So let's put the camera down. I will put a light on. Let's see if we can pop the nail polish off. That's very bright. I wonder if it's better. Not so bright. Let's try not so bright. Let's see if this works. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. I can't believe that. There's my thumb in this one. I'm not going to do like Christine of Simply Neological and save these things. She saves all hers in a bag. I know it's because I have so much on that nail that it, I mean, really, it's like, it's like a plastic nail. How incredibly cool that is that I don't have to use any nail polish remover at all. Oh my goodness, this is so fun. Okay. Oh, don't. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty. I think I'll be using some Mod Podge every time. I will also try the other one that's not as um, super gloss. It's just gloss. Okay, let's fix my thumbnail. Let me get my paper over here. Ooh, let me give you a sneak peek of the doodle that'll be up. This one is so intricate. All oh, the little lines that I did everywhere. I think you almost have to be insane to want to make all these little lines. Okay. Thumbnail. Maybe I do. No, I'm going to leave the light off. Alright, so we want to fix that little crack right there so it doesn't lift up. I used to have stuff called Mendanail, and it was a piece of paper, but it wasn't paper like this. It was uh, stiffer, and I'm sure that it wasn't just nail polish, but maybe some kind of a glue. But the trick is to make sure that all the edges are, like, you know, ripped. You wouldn't want to cut, because you want the edges to be frayed, because that's what makes it, like, practically disappear on the nail. Okay, I'm going to put that down. And I just use this because it sticks and then I want it to dry quick. I can't see what I'm doing. Ouch. I'm just going to put a little bit right on the brake. And then I just kind of wet my finger. And I put the, t the toilet paper there and I'm going to just put it right there and it's going to stick. See, it's stuck right there. Let's see if you can see. Now I'm going to cover it with more of this stuff. It's going to dry nice and hard. I put it on kind of thick and it uh, dries really fast. And then if I want to smooth it out, I just take a little tiny bit of uh, nail polish remover on my finger and I just rub it and it smooths it out. And I'm going to use my nail file to just tuck in any toilet paper that's on the edge. Kind of wipe that off. Just gonna let that dry. I don't know how well you can see, but that's just gonna dry and it's gonna be hard and it will stop my nail from catching. I know that it's weird to want your nail polish to pop off, but it has opened up a whole new world for me. <laughs> it means I can be obsessed with playing with my nails and not having to go through all the trouble of nail polish remover to take the color off. I can't wait. I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I will be doing something. And I do want to try doing some nail art stuff, but first I wanted to be able to get to the point where, you know, my fingernail color just pops off like Christine's does. And I think I figured it out. All right, that is it. I will be back with more soon.